Hello and welcome to another one of Creative Block's Two Minute Tool School. Today we're going to be looking at Photoshop and specifically the Burn Tool. Now the Burn Tool can be used to selectively darken areas of your image. It's found in the Tools panel over here alongside the Dodge Tool and the Sponge Tool. We have these options up here in the options bar at the top of the screen that allow us to change how the tool behaves. The range options up here allow us to target the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Now, you usually want to target the midtones or shadows when using the burn tool. The highlights is better when you're using the dodge tool. If we set it to shadows, and then let's just duplicate our background there so we're working on a copy, and then I can paint over the image like this with the burn tool to darken all of the shadow areas to give our face a bit more depth and really emphasize those lines. Now the exposure setting here controls the strength of the darkening effect. We usually want to use quite a low exposure value so I wouldn't recommend going above 15 or 20 percent. This way you can just paint and gradually build up the effect by repeatedly painting over the same area. Now we can switch to midtones and I could paint to darken down the midtones which works on areas like the skin around here and I can also resize my brush tip using the square bracket keys on my keyboard. The right square bracket key will make it larger, the left square bracket key will make it smaller. And because it's a brush based tool I can also access the brush panel here to choose from lots of different brush tip settings. Now we also have this option to protect tones and we usually want to leave that checked because that will prevent clipping in shadow tones which means that we can burn in the shadow areas without worrying about losing detail completely. And protect tones will also help to prevent colours shifting too much when you're darkening them down. So there we go, that's how you can use the burn tool to selectively darken areas of your image. And if I toggle my background copy on and off, you can see a before and after of the effect. And I'm happy with that.